Economists often talk about externalities as a reason why governments should regulate markets. Externalities refer to situations where in our private actions we may impose costs on other actors without paying appropriate compensation. So for example, when a factory pumps out noxious fumes into the atmosphere, it's imposing an externality on the people in the neighbourhood who are breathing in those fumes on an involuntary basis. People often claim that externalities are exclusively the result of market failures. But before we rush to the conclusion that governments can correct for these market failures, it's important that we recognise that most of what government does reflects the desire of politicians to win elections by promising benefits to some groups that will be paid for by others. Most of the public policies that we see in the world are not the result of governments trying to deal with market failures, but they reflect politicians trying to externalise costs. So, when governments subsidise inefficient farmers, when they subsidise inefficient energy companies, when they subsidise road building schemes, when they prop up failing banks and prop up failing auto companies, they are taking money from some people and giving it to others on an involuntary basis. Markets are highly imperfect institutions and there will always be market failures. But markets do provide at least some incentives for actors to try to internalise costs. Think of the typical caricatures that many people have of capitalists. Capitalists are often described as the people who, if they could, would find ways of charging people for things that they've previously been receiving for free. If the thing that we've previously been receiving for free is the ability to pollute the atmosphere, then these are precisely the type of people that we want to make us pay for our polluting ways. The profit motive in the market system may not provide the solution to all externality problems, but they may just provide more of a solution than the activities of vote-seeking politicians. Thank you.